alcohol. Most people drink it. Most people think it provides a benefit to them. Most people go through their entire lives without realizing that they're actually drinking a drug. And with how alcohol is portrayed in the media, the movies, and the marketing, honestly, it's no surprise. But the big question is, are those benefits real? Well, today, guys, we're going to be looking at 30 benefits of not drinking alcohol. I haven't drank for two years, so these are all battle-tested and proven benefits. Let's get into it. And guys, if you want to get instant access to a free video training showing you exactly how I used first principles thinking to stop drinking with zero effort, then click the link in the description. So guys, the very first benefit is a better mood. So back when I drank alcohol, my mood was up and down. There would be bad times, there would be good times, but it was very unstable. But these days, now I've stopped drinking, I do better things with my time. I have better relationships with my friends, I have a better relationship with my partner, I, I do more exercise. I do things that all contribute to me having a better mood. And generally, I just feel happier and I just feel better overall. The next benefit is having youthful energy. So when I drank alcohol, my energy was, again, very up and down. I, I always felt a little bit older. I probably felt like five or 10 years older than I was. But when I stopped drinking, the youthful energy came back, right? I can go and hang out with my friend's children, pretty young, like, um, and, 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 you know, I can play with those kids and I can get on their level, right? I've got that youthful energy. I've got that energy that... When I was 15 years of age, I had this youthful energy, right? I would be excited about going swimming. I'd be excited about doing activities. I'd be excited about everything. And that excitement has come back. I've got that youthful energy again. I feel like a teenager because I no longer rely on a drug that's depressing me, that's poisoning me, that's literally destroying my life. I no longer rely on that. What's left after you get rid of that? Well, it's that youthful energy that you had before you ever even started drinking and that has been restored. The next thing, guys, is clearer thinking. Now, I speak about clarity a lot on this channel. In fact, I call my company Sober Clear, and that's where we help entrepreneurs and professionals to stop drinking without AA and without willpower. But being sober clear is, is a state of mind, right? But when you stop drinking, the, the amount of clarity that you get is insane. And I mean this in the short term and the long term. So what ends up happening is people, over time, it's not an overnight thing, but over time, they start to develop clarity about who they are and what they want to get out of their life, right? And this gives them a much better long-term perspective. But the great thing is, is that when you have this long-term perspective and you know that the work that you do each day can go towards that, you also have a good short-term perspective. So you almost start to realize, okay, so for me to achieve this long-term vision, I might have to create a financial budget. I might have to hire a personal trainer. I might have to do this and do this and do this. And you get a lot more clarity about who you are, what you want, and what you need to do to get what you want. The next thing is the setting and achieving of goals. So it kind of goes hand in hand with the clarity, right? You're able to think about what you want, right? And then you can put this down in paper. You can write down that, you know, I want to start a new business. I want to go traveling more. I want to get into a new relationship. I want to be more present for my family and for my children. You can set goals. And I'm not saying that when you drink alcohol, you can't set and achieve goals, right? I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of you that are watching this that have got a house. You might have you might have investment properties, you might have a beautiful career, you might have a beautiful partner, you might have a beautiful family. You may have set and achieved goals already. But what happens when you don't drink is that you set goals and the time to achieve those goals is compressed, right? You get things a lot faster, you get things done a lot quicker. And the process is a lot more enjoyable. There's a lot less up and down, you know, waking up, not feeling your best. That's all gone, right? The days that you lose after maybe a big binge of drinking, those three or four days that just seem to disappear, no longer disappear. So everything goes a lot faster. And yeah, like I said, the process is more enjoyable. The work becomes easier. Everything just becomes effortless, right? So yeah, you can set and achieve more goals. The next one, guys, is being more present to the moment. So I work with a client called Zane. Zane is an entrepreneur. And this was one of the big things that he found when he stopped drinking. He stopped, you know, having this chaotic mind where you're thinking about a million different things. You're never kind of in the moment. You're always thinking about the future or worrying about something in the past. But when you stop drinking, you're able to bring yourself to the present moment, right? And the great thing about this is, is that you have less anxiety, you have less depression, you have less worry about the future, and you're able to be okay with who you are. You're able to bring yourself to that peaceful state of mind where you're just in the here and now, right? You're having a conversation with somebody and that's all that's going on. You're not thinking about the next customer that you've got to go to or the workout that you've got to do tomorrow or the dinner that you've got to cook. You don't think about that. You can just kind of go, right, right now, everything is okay. And that's a pretty cool thing, right? And this wasn't something that I was really interested in when I was uh, when I was drinking alcohol. I didn't have time to sit and learn about meditation. I didn't care. But now that, you know, I'm free, I have time to dedicate to doing these things. 
And yeah, being present to the moment, it makes you a lot happier, a lot more chilled, and just generally it improves your life by a lot. The next thing, guys, is not worrying about who you upset. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I used to live with this, like, what would you call it? Like this, this overlying sense of fear that I might have upset somebody. I might have upset a work colleague. I might have upset a friend. I might have upset a stranger in a nightclub. Because I woke up and a lot of the times I didn't really remember what I did, right? And I used to maybe go on Facebook and start talking shit to somebody or maybe post a status when I was drunk. And all that's gone now. Right? You don't worry about who you upset. You don't worry if, you're, if your family are worried about where you've been all night or your mum is like, you know, they know that you're drinking and you, you don't worry about these things anymore. And, you know, you, you do start to take it for granted. Like I do take this for granted now, but my mum and my nana and my auntie, they used to worry about me. And I used to upset them because I've just, you know, I didn't really care about anybody else except myself when I drank. I'd just drink and do whatever the hell I wanted to do. And these days, I don't worry about that anymore, right? And it's a nice thing, not just for me, because now I'm like a better man and, and, and I don't need to upset my family or my friends, but it's also better for them as well, of course. The next thing, guys, is you become less bo bothered about what others think about you, right? When you drink alcohol, you know that you are doing something wrong, right? And, you know, people have opinions of the drinking version of you, whether you like it or not, right? Most people don't want to see you poisoning yourself. Some drinkers are going to want to see you do that because they've got their own problems that they're dealing with. So if you can drink, then they feel better about themselves. But most of the people that really love you, that really care for you, they don't want to see you destructing yourself. So let's say that you stop drinking, right? You start this new life and then you start saying, okay, I'm not going to drink. You're going to have some people that are going to look at you and think, are you crazy? Like, Why would you want to do that? Why don't you just moderate all the usual nonsense that a drinker will tell you? And as time goes on, you end up not giving a flying hell what that person thinks about you. If, because what it, usually, what it always usually boils down to is it's not what they think about you, it's what they think about themselves and how that's reflected onto you. And you end up just not caring, right? If, if I, when, you know, when I was younger, if I didn't drink and I went to a bar and I remember, I just remember this one instance where I ordered a water in a bar and you know, I just didn't want to drink that night. I might've been like 19. And the bartender, very beautiful bartender, she was like, what do you mean you don't want to drink? And I was like, shit, man. And I felt really bad. I thought, damn, this beautiful girl has just kind of called me out for not drinking. Am I a wuss? Am I... Listen, as time goes on, you just do not care. You realize that all these people are reflecting their own drinking problems out into other people. And you just stop caring. And I'm not just talking about this instance of like, you know, not caring about what drinkers think about you. But eventually, you know, as you develop more confidence and better self-esteem, you just stop caring what anybody thinks about you. The next thing is more travel becomes possible right? You can travel more. You can go on holidays. You've got more, more spare money. You have more confidence. You, 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 you can travel more because you're not stuck in that trap of buying alcohol, spending your money on alcohol, you know, not having the energy to drink, not having the energy to go and even book a flipping plane ticket. More travel becomes possible. And that's what a lot of the people that I work with end up doing. They end up traveling more. They end up going, you know, I've got one lady that's going to the beach right now. She's, she's a nice lady and she's, you know, she can just go and relax now. And that will happen more and more and more as her journey continues. And it's something that happened in my own life, right? I was living in England. I wasn't happy in England. But when I stopped drinking, I started realizing what did make me happy. And I love going to foreign countries. So I ended up traveling a ton. I went to live in, in Bangkok, in Chiang Mai, in Bali. I went to Italy. I went back to England. And then I just said, okay, do you know what? I'm going to go and live in Thailand because why the hell not? I don't drink anymore so I can make these things possible again. And that's just, you know, if, if, if travel is something that you're interested in, it becomes possible once again. The next thing is you have better relationships with friends. You're able to turn up to friendships and be somebody of value, right? You're no, you're no longer somebody that is there to, to take value, right? So what ended up happening in, in my life is that, you know, I made new friends and these new friends have become much deeper and more meaningful friendships. Uh, and I think that's largely because I don't drink, so I can go to these friendships and, you know, bring value, bring good emotions, bring good energy, bring positivity, bring gifts, bring whatever it is, right? I can go and be somebody that gives to a friendship. And in the past, you know, I wasn't really too bothered about having friends. I just kind of wanted to do my own thing and whatever. If you want to go for a beer, let's go for a beer. That was about as far as it goes. But nowadays, my friendships are more, more meaningful and I get a lot more value from it and I get a lot more happiness from friendships. The next thing is having a better relationship with your partner. It kind of goes without saying, right? When you're not hungover, you know, you can give more love to your significant other. 
you can be more present with them, right? You're not thinking about just you. You're not being selfish. You're thinking, okay, how can I give to this person? How can I love this person? And the relationship becomes a lot better and it becomes a lot more meaningful. And, you know, I've had relationships in the past when I was drinking that turned sour multiple times. But these days, it's a lot more stable, right? And, and because I don't drink, I don't upset my partner. Like if I started drinking, my relationship would just crumble away. Because that's just what I'm like. I just, all I do is think about myself. But I don't think about myself in, in my relationship with, with or that you guys have probably seen. And that's, you know, it's a big part of life. It's a big part of happiness. Having a partner, you know, dating, relationship, this kind of area of life it is massive. And it's just brings so much value and so much joy to somebody's life. And, and you know, having a better relationship with your partner is a beautiful, beautiful thing. The next thing, guys, is, is people start to respect you. I forgot what it was like to respect myself. And how can somebody... If I don't respect myself, how can somebody else respect me? They can't, right? If, if, if you're self-destructing and drinking alcohol and not doing what you said you were going to do, not showing up to meetings, not doing all these things, how can somebody else respect you? If you don't respect yourself, how can somebody else respect you? But when you stop drinking, it all changes, right? People start to respect you again. They start to look up to you. They start to ask you, you know, what you're doing? How are you, how are you achieving these results? And, you know, that's nice. It's nice to be respected. And it's nice to respect other people. The next one, guys, is fitness gets much better. Obviously, it goes about saying, right, you're not poisoning yourself, so fitness will improve. Health will just naturally improve, but you can get more consistency in the gym. You can get more consistency with your nutrition. You, you can end up training with more intensity. You can try different exercises. You can try different sports. Fitness just gets better. And I think a large part of that is, is, is motivation because you're not drinking, it's, and it's the consistency as well. The next thing, guys, is body fat starts dropping. Now, this comes down to like three things, right? Number one is that alcohol is actually a macronutrient, right? It's got uh, seven calories per gram of alcohol. So you've got all these extra calories. I, don't, I can't remember the calories that are in drinks, but whatever, like 200 calories a pint, whatever it is. You've got all these extra calories that add up from drinking alcohol. And then you make the terrible food choices when you're drinking, the kebabs, the pizzas, the burgers, whatever, and then the lack of exercise. But when you don't drink, that all goes away, right? You don't drink, so you don't get the calories from alcohol. You make better food choices because you're not drunk and the inhibitions aren't lowered and you do more exercise. Guess what happens? Body fat starts dropping. Um, that's, that's, you know, that's a no-brainer. It's pretty obvious, but I had to throw it in there because it happened to me. It happens to pretty much everybody. Not everybody. Some people actually start adding weight. That's cool either way. But for me, body fat starts dropping. For a lot of people, body fat does drop. The next thing, guys, number 14, is you have less anger and frustration. Like when I drank, I was a lot angrier and I was a lot more frustrated at the world and I was a lot more just like pretty negative and pissed off all the time. But that obviously goes away. You, yeah, you just feel happier. You just don't get, you know, if, if, if something happens, like if somebody cuts me up in traffic now or I drop something on my toe, I have a little burst of anger and then it just like goes away. But, you know, if I did something, like, if something like that happened, I'd go into these, these outbursts where I'd be so frustrated and, and it would last for like 10 minutes and I'd be like cursing this person, and these days, those bursts of anger become a lot easier to deal with. You know, you kind of, it happens and then you just let go. Nice. Guys, at number 15 is you feel happiness, right? I almost forgot what it was like to feel properly happy when I drank alcohol. I am, um, you know, there were, there were, I'm not going to say that it was always down in the dumps, right? There were some times during when I drank alcohol that weren't that bad, right? I thought I was happy. But I almost forgot what happiness was really like, right? Because when you stop drinking you start to remember what it was like to feel happy. You start to remember what it was like before you even started drinking in your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your youth, in your teenage years. You start to feel like that again. You start to feel happy, right? Guys, at number 16 is you get less depression and anxiety. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like when I drank, there was way more depression, way more anxiety. There'd be lulls. There'd be times where I'd just be stressed about the future and, and, and have these massive waves of anxiety. And I'm not perfect. Like, you know, these things are, are just part of life. You know, people deal with depression and anxiety. All the time. I still get anxiety. I've made plenty of videos about anxiety and I'll link you to some of those in the description. But it, it is, number one is decreased. But number two is that it becomes easier to deal with, right? The duration and the burst of like depression or anxiety are so much shorter. And I'm not going to say that, you know, like a magic wand gets waved and you're never going to have to deal with depression and anxiety again. That's why I put less and not no. Because I've not drank for two years. I still sometimes have to deal with this stuff. You know, I'm human. But it's just less. It's less in severity. It's less in duration. And it's easier to deal with. The next thing is less turmoil for your parents. Now, I know I did speak about this before. 
But my mum, you know, my, like you guys know, my mum has been to AA for 20 years. And if I'm drinking, she knows that I'm off the rails, right? I do not drink like a normal person. I drink pretty heavily. I binge drink. And, uh, you know, I'm very chaotic, right? And I get into fights and all sorts of stupid stuff happens. So the amount of turmoil that I used to create for my mother um, was pretty bad. And, and, and I know, like, She's so happy. She's so made up that I'm doing this, that I created SoberClear.com. I help other people go through this stuff because, you know, she's been in the grip of, of an addiction, right? She knows what it's like to be in that chaotic state of mind. And she also knows what it's like when you stop. But to see her, your own son go through that, it, it must be very, very heartbreaking. I don't have children. Uh, one day, hopefully, I will do. But, uh, you know, I'm not a parent, so I don't quite know. But I think that that would have been extremely, extremely difficult for my mum to go through and to watch you know, your son, self-destruct. So it's really nice that I'm not creating that kind of stress in her life anymore. Guys, at number 18, is your family start to respect you again? You know, some of you guys that are watching this, you probably have your own families, right? You might have children, you might have a partner. Um, some of you might not, but you get the point. But your family start to respect you again, right? I believe that my family, they didn't lose love for me, right? My family always loved me. But I do believe that they lost respect for me, especially during the last, like the relapse that I had, where, as you guys know, I stopped drinking, I built the personal training business, I had one drink on a New Year's Eve party, and then I went on a nine month binge and I just destroyed everything that I built whilst as a personal trainer. But the good thing is, is that, you know, they've started to respect me again. They see what I'm doing, they see what I'm building, they see the life that I've got. And, you know, making your family happy, there's, there's, there's not really much else to life, right? It's one of the nicest things ever, you know, being somebody, being a good person to your family is, is, is a nice thing. And it's great to get their respect to you. And number 19, guys, is you become a better leader. Now, I was talking about it before. Um, you, When I say you become a better leader, the first thing that you start doing when you don't drink is you start to lead your own life, right? You start to make good decisions again. You start to, you know, go into a better direction. And when you're doing that, right, you're naturally going to get other people that want to go in that direction. You're going to become a leader because you're kind of carving a new path and other people are going to think, oh, that's the direction that I also want to go in. What does this person have? How can I learn from this person? And so on. And I'm not saying it from like, I'm not saying that when you, you, you could become a leader in any area, right? You could become a leader in your local gym. You could become a leader in your community. You could just become a leader in your own family. But you become better at doing that just by improving yourself and improving your own life. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about like leadership skills or anything like that. But just by improving yourself naturally, other people are going to start listening to you again. Uh, Zayn. He was, he, he started going to the gym, right? Zane is somebody that I worked with in the Sober Clear program. And he, he, he started going to the gym. Then all of a sudden, his son starts coming to the gym. His wife starts coming to the gym. Because he led his own life, other people want to follow somebody that's kind of improving themselves. And, and, and you've definitely become a better leader as a result of not drinking alcohol. Guys, at number 20 is you've got way more money in your bank account. Now, I'm not just talking about the money that you save. I'm talking about the extra money that you can make. Right? If you stop drinking and you've got that energy of a 15-year-old that you used to be, if you could apply the knowledge and experience that you've got, there is, you know, it's very easy to make an extra few thousand dollars a month, right? It's very easy to set up a side business or just work a little bit harder in your career and push for a promotion. And the amount of money that alcohol costs people, people don't really realize that it's, you know, maybe $500 a month, $6,000 a year, 60 grand over 10 years. That's what they think it costs them. But you know, if you're adding an extra $3,000 a month of income on after you stop drinking through either a promotion, through working harder at your business, through starting a side business, whatever it is, that is an extra $360,000 that could be made over 10 years. And my income increased massively through stopping drinking, right? Everything that I've done, so you end up with way more money in the bank account. Guys, yeah, and like I just said, at 21, you can make more money as well. Like, you've you have clarity to get business ideas. You can just start working on them. You end up being better at like selling things and, and you, you just end up being able to make more money as a result of not drinking. That's my experience. That's a lot of other people's experience. And yeah, guys at 22, is, is you have no more shame. I used to live with shame. I used to live with like this feeling of why, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep making the same mistake? And these days I don't feel like that. I never feel shame. I never think like, damn, who am I becoming? I feel the opposite. I feel positive. I feel motivated. I feel good. I don't feel regret, I don't feel shame, and I don't feel guilt anymore. And guys, at 23, you can start to learn, you can start to read more. So for example, I wanted to start Sober Clear, right? I wanted to help other people go through the same transformation that I went through. I want to help them stop drinking. And the amount of skills that I had to learn that I didn't already have to do this were pretty intense, right? I had to learn more about marketing, I had to learn more about YouTube, I had to learn more about SEO, I had to learn WordPress, I had to learn uh, graphics design, 
I had to learn coaching. I had to learn sales. There were so many different skills that I had to learn to make this a reality. But I was totally okay with that because I don't drink. I have clarity. I can focus. I can read. I can watch YouTube videos. I can take courses. I can hire my own coach. You know, I can do all of these things and you end up being, yeah, you can, you can read and you can learn more. And you know, that just all adds on to a much better quality of life. Guys at 24, you start to understand what you want out of life. Right? I've got a very clear picture of who I want to be and what I want to get out of life that I didn't have when I drank alcohol. When I drank alcohol, it was just about getting through each day. Very, very, very short term focus. Like, you know, you literally think, I wouldn't even think 12 hours ahead. I think like 10 minutes ahead. I'd have these, these bursts, these cravings, and I'd just go and drink. But these days, over time, it's developed, but I have a much clearer idea of what I want to get out of life. Like, who, why am I here? And that brings a lot of happiness, it brings a lot of enjoyment, and it brings a vision and it brings something to aim towards. Guys, at 25 is you start to wake up hungry. Now, I don't mean hungry as in you want food, but you wake up and you feel motivated, right? You're ready to go and get it. And back when I drank, I never felt like that. I'd just wake up and, oh, got to get it. Oh, I go back to sleep, put the alarm on. These days, you wake up, I wake up hungry. I wake up and I want to work. I wake up and I want to go and get what's mine. You know, it's a much different attitude to waking up just to get through the day. I wake up and I think, right, how can I make the most of today? How can I give the most that I can? How can I do the best work for the clients? How can I, you know, just how can I do this? And I just go and do it. You wake up hungry. Guys, at 26, we've got no more health scares. So, you know, when I drank alcohol, I had a very, very, very scary moment where I threw up blood on a MacBook Pro. Now, I'm not saying that when you stop drinking, you're not going to get any more health scares ever again. So I probably should have phrased that a little bit differently. But you know, the risk of drinking alcohol, the risk that that has on your health is massive. And when you don't drink it, you're much less likely to get any major health scares, right? As your body starts recovering, as you start getting fit, as you start focusing on your health, you know, the health scares are going to be going the right direction. 27 is no more shallow friendships. I don't know about you guys, but I had some friendships that if I didn't drink, we would not be friends, right? They weren't really friends. If I called them up and I needed a hand, they weren't going to show up for me. They weren't really good friends, right? And it's nice to get rid of those people. Now, I'm not going to say that those people were bad people or anything like that. They just got their own priorities, right? They want to drink. And for me, like, I just got rid of all of those people. Like, the only friends that I've got left, I've got a very small group of friends now. I don't have, like, lots of friends. I've just got, like, a select core group of people that, you know, they're not shallow friendships anymore. I call these people. We have good in-depth conversations. I can rely on those people and they can rely on me. Much better friendships and the shallow friendships are gone. Yeah, guys, and at 28, you feel more optimistic and excited, right? I've already spoken about, you know, you wake up and you're hungry, but you feel optimistic. You feel like you can make progress and, and get things and it's not going to go. You don't feel pessimistic. You don't start things and think it's never going to work. You, you start things and you think, I know how I can make this work. And also because you don't drink, things aren't going to come crumbling down. Guys, at 29 is you have a self-confidence boost. You feel more confident, right? You, when you drink, the self-confidence is just going downwards all the time. But when you stop drinking and you start doing good things for your life and you're no longer self-destructing, self-confidence increases massively. And guys, at number 30, you can start to reach your potential again, right? That was the big reason why I wanted to stop drinking. I did not want to get to 80 years of age and look back at my life and go, you know, wish, wish I did that a bit differently. That ain't going to happen to me. I stopped drinking because I want to see how far I can go. I want to see how far I can push things. And now that is possible again, right? When I drank, it wasn't possible. I was never going to reach any kind of potential. I was just going to coast and drink and coast and drink. But these days, it's like somebody's taken the chain off from around my neck. It's like the break has been released and I can just go after it now. Guys, if you click the videos on the screen now, you can learn more about the stop drinking timeline or also the four stages of giving up drinking. Thank you.